worship. Good evening, good evening. If you, as we're still trying to get people in, if you have space next to you, if you can fill that up, fill up that gap, uh, that will give the last few coming in, and we're trying to get some seats open up here. I believe we've got a couple pews here, and, uh, and we'll get started also bringing some chairs right to be able to have in the back. So we appreciate it very much, and then we will get started.
If you're still looking for a space, the teachers have given up their row right here. So I've got about five or six spaces that we can do right here, seat people we can seat. So if you need to be seated, we've got some right here. Terrific, terrific. was born your kingdom come glory to god with us angels adore bow down before glory to god Emmanuel, the god is Well, good evening, everyone. Uh, we are cozy in here, aren't we? Thank you for squishing together. I still see some open seats, so if there is anyone by the door uh, wanting a seat, uh, is there anyone that has a place for three people? There is, some, there is a spot right up here in the front, probably two could squeeze into, and there in the back, there is a spot for three. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started because those little ones are antsy. They want to get going. Um, thank you so much for coming out. I had a feeling this place would be full tonight. So many of you have expressed um, that you were excited to be back doing a program. We're excited. I'm thankful for Susie Fry, our fifth grade teacher, who put this together. She, she has worked hours on this, and she'll tell you that she loves it, but it is a big job. But you are in for a treat. This is one of our best Christmas programs. I, I just absolutely love it. Um, we have so many people that have um, made this program as, as wonderful as it is. And it's the pastors at this church, uh, Pastor Chris, Pastor Johnny, Pastor Jesse. They have done above and beyond the call of duty to help us put this together. You're going to see amazing lights tonight, and that's all due to their hard work. So um, I think you're going to enjoy it. At the very end, I'll give you some directions on where to pick your kids up. And if you wouldn't block the, the aisle way, the students come down the aisle as they get on the stage at various times throughout the evening. So if you would try to keep the aisles clear, that would be great. Would you pray with me as we get started? Heavenly Father, what a great night. What a gift you have given us in this church. Thank you for the kindness of this church and generosity, Lord. And thank you for these parents who have trusted us with their most precious possessions. Lord, we pray for the students at Faith Christian School that they would be different because they went to school here, Lord, because they learned the truth. They know that you love them, that they are highly valued. Lord, we pray for this performance, that it would bring glory to your name tonight. 
Thank you for the parents, the grandparents, the friends, neighbors, aunties, and uncles, Lord. Bless them. Give them a great evening. We ask this in the name of your son. Amen. All right. Kindergarten. He was small, just a little dude, but there was something about him, something that set him apart, and it wasn't just that drum. I can always spot talent. I knew he'd make it. I'm his manager. Please see me afterwards for booking availability. Who? What have you heard? He's not thinking of becoming a king, is he? Oh, the little guy? Didn't really notice him. Away. situations and changing their lives forever. I think you'll find this is one of those stories.
little drop. Let's watch as he and his friends journey toward the performance of a lifetime. He's run off again. Not me. It most certainly was not me. It was probably Tirza. You know she's trying to teach the camel to talk. Not to talk, just communicate. He's very sweet. He's one of the band, too. Um, if he's one of the band, I need to update my resume. In a sense, she's right. If that camel didn't carry my instrument for me, I'd be torn out to give my best her concerts. And wouldn't that be a shame? Come on now, Boshi. Babak is a very talented musician. The top of my class. It's harder than you think to find a musician of my caliber who will still travel. The camel. Where is that camel? We've got to get to our next performance town. He'll be back. We have an understanding. He just needed a little me time. I roll. That's it. We're going without the camel. Going without the camel. Going without the camel? Going without the camel. Do we have Abel? We've lost Abel. Leave Abel, but find the camel. I absolutely cannot carry my own instrument. <laughs> I'm here. I had to pack up my newest project. I've made some new drumsticks. Why can't you play the drums the traditional way, you know, with your hands, like God intended? I don't know. This is more fun. Everyone, listen to me play. Wow, what an interesting style. That was fantastic. Good job, champ. OK, folks, now we have Abel and still no camel. But we're going. Ready? Let's go. Persia's traveling band, greatest in the land. Persia's traveling band. We practice day and night and work with all our might because we're a traveling band. He has a name. It's Hakim. 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 Oh, there he is. My camel bell. <laughs> ah, beautiful.
did our friends know they were about to meet a distinguished trio who would alter the trajectory of their lives. These magi were experts in studying the stars, or as they would say, seeking to discern in the stars the destinies of nations. And the monkey said, sorry, I don't eat with tax collectors. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, monkeys don't. I don't get it. It's a joke, Balthazar. I know, I know. But what I'm trying to understand is that if the monkey had a 401k and the tax collector already knew that, why wouldn't they break bread together? Ooh, what do we have here? Do I see instruments? <laughs> yes, sir. Or purchase number one, traveling band. Excellent, I'm among my people. Here we go again. I often amuse as meant to be in a band. Really? Do you play? I most certainly do. Let me go get my equipment. Please forgive my colleague. Ever since he get, got hit on the head with a very large skull, he's insisted on inventing the strangest instruments. What kind of instruments? And never mind. You guys look like the type of people that might want to hire a professional traveling band for your next function. Let's show them, guys. We're BTB. It's so loud. The amplification system's quite complicated. I'd love to tell you all about my invention, but we're on a very long journey and must keep moving. We are at your service. <laughs> We'd love to play for our next function. You're welcome to join us. We'd have to travel a long way. We'll do it. My colleague is jesting. You wouldn't want to join us. We're on our way to honor a new king. Perfect. I've always thought my talents were suited for a royal audience. So, what are the deets? We've never played for royalty before. That would definitely be good for our sandbook page. Or Instacamel. <laughs> We've been studying our star charts and have seen an extraordinarily unusual star in the sky. We've traveled far and intend to salute him as a very eminent king. When do you anticipate arriving at your next destination? Um, probably only two. Days? Years? Years? Talk about committing to a show. But I guess it would give us time to prepare a new routine. Something new, fabulous, and something that features the most important instrument, I'd hope. Which instrument is that? The camel bow, of course. I'm surprised you wouldn't know that as a wise man. I'll get the camel. Hakeem, Hakeem. Have you ever seen such a bright star? It is exciting, we must go and see it. And follow the star where it leads.
Can I offer you some water? Why, thank you. I just gave some to Hakeem. Which one's Hakeem again, the fellow with the camel bell? Uh, he's the camel. <coughs> <coughs> thank you for the water. I've been watching you. Why do I never see you play with the band? Oh, I'm not in the band. I'm just a little dude. He's more like a mascot. He plays drums with sticks. Intriguing. Do you want to see? It would be my honor. One interesting way to play. I love it. Abel, did you do your chores? Water the camel? Yes, Annika. Did I hear Abel playing? You sure did. Thank you for indulging him. He's obsessed with that drum. You know, I studied the camel bell in the most prestigious school in Eastern Persia. We frown upon using the sticks. I consider myself cutting edge, but you have to draw in somewhere. Well, I quite enjoyed it. If you have a few minutes, little dude, perhaps I can show you my invention. It's a highly technical process that relies on animal power. Balthazar, are you talking about your invention again? Large scroll to the head. Oh, cool, we can use my camel. Come here, Akeem. Wait, does it hurt? Only the camel. No, he's kidding. It doesn't hurt at all. No time, we gotta go. Let's get this search party started. friends continued their journey and followed the star as it led them. Somehow, the wise men knew they had to follow the star and search for this mysterious king. But what they didn't know was that this was no ordinary king. There you are, Balthazar. I've been looking at the star charts, and the star seems to be leading us through Jerusalem. As we thought. I've heard of the king in that region. They call him Herod the Great. Yes, I thought we might pay respects to him. King Herod is supposed to be quite powerful and could possibly help us help direct us to this new king. Wonderful idea, Melchior. I'd love to meet him. Herod the Great had established himself as a king, being backed by Rome by military conquest of his own people. The people resented his rule, so Herod was constantly worried with real or imagined rivals to his throne. And we could work up a new routine, a type of kingly processional. How much longer till we arrive? Let's just stay long enough for you all to switch instruments and learn to competitively tap dance. I see that you're joking, but that just means that there's all the more time to perfect our craft. And I love the tap dancing idea. I was just joking. Oh, wait, I think big. Meanwhile, we'll just keep playing in the local villages as we pass through. Perhaps by then this little one can join the band and play his drum. But then who would hold our sign? Leave it to the professionals, little dude. We leave in five. Sorry, kid. When we finally reach our destination, would you like to help us present our gift to the new king? Sure, although I have to make sure I can still hold the sign. It's my one drum. What about your drum? Ah, oh, yeah, my drum. Do you really think I could play my drum for the king?
our little band traveled night and day, evading bandits and braving windstorms, all to follow a star that brilliantly and gloriously lit up the night sky. Until one day, they arrived in Jerusalem. Who is this delegation coming to worship me today? Magi from the East. People everywhere are talking about this impressive group of wise men who have traveled so far. It is said they want to bring honor to a king whose power and exalted rank are so extraordinary that all nations will admire and revere him. Ooh, excellent. And they have also brought performing group to perform in your honor. Wonderful. Who is this group? Persia's traveling band. Shall I let them in? Yes. You know, it never gets old having people worship you. You'd think it would, but it never does. I understand you have traveled a long way to worship the king. Yes, your majesty. I am Balthazar. I am Melchior. And I am Gaspar. We've traveled far to bring gifts to the king. Ooh, gifts. Wonderful. We can do that later, though. I would like to hear from your musicians. I understand you have prepared a great show for the king. We have, your majesty. I'm the Bach. Well, it's for Clara the Camel Bell. Okay. Would you like to see our presentation? Yes, of course. That's why they've come, isn't it? I'm here! You've made it! Obviously. Where will the baby be born? Right, the baby. Where will the baby be born? I love baby. Please help us in our journey. Someone research this, please. Where will the baby be born? What a great day. Where will the baby be born? They say he's king please of the sea. Please help us in our journey. Something blah, 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 blah. To worship, worship the king. Yeah, 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 I got it. Worship, worship the king. No need to continue. Go, make a search for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so I may go and worship him too.
super awkward. Oh, why did he think we had come to worship him? King Herod is a pretty big name in these parts, but even his scribes reported that the new king was to be born in Bethlehem. Okay, but can we talk about our blocking? Because I didn't have love how we all bunched up at the top of the set. I already know what you're gonna say. We've discussed this. Not everyone could do a cartwheel while holding their instruments, Babak. But should we punish those who can? Should we? This seems counterproductive. I agree. Thank you. Obviously, the musicians did bunch up at the top of the set. It was a little bumpy. I see how we can rehearse the entrance again. What if we move Tirza and Takim over here? Then come through the center with fire sticks. Those fire sticks almost singed my mustache. I say we lose the fire sticks. What if the baby's in a flammable area? The baby is not going to be in a flammable area. Houses are filled with gold. Agreed. The fire sticks stay. The baby will spread out while we process with our gifts through the center. Then my big solo. Where do I stand? Off to the side, with the sign. Sigmund knows who we are. OK. Then it is our custom. We present gifts to the king. Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. I think this king will like them and will hopefully show us favor in the future. The star, it's moving. Now it seems to be stopping over that one house. When we find the king, we should go back and report to Herod. Um, I don't know. He seems shady. I thought so too. The wise men eventually decided to go home another way and avoid seeing Herod. They traveled on and on and came to the place where the star had stopped. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary and they bowed down and worshipped him.
played and played. He played with all his heart and gave his best for the king. But somehow, he just knew there was something different about this king. King? Did someone mention a king? Do you happen to know if those wise men with a strange little band ever found the king they were looking for? Oh, no reason. I love these. Who? Abel? Oh, uh, he's definitely the best drummer in our band. Always has been. As I witnessed that little drummer dude worshiping at the feet of this baby king, I couldn't shake the feeling that we had witnessed something extraordinary. Was this an earthly king or something more? She's baby.
Awesome, awesome job. You guys are great. Yeah, you did a great job. A great job. Let me ask you a question. So this king of kings that was born in Bethlehem, what kind of a gift do we bring to him? What is it that he wants? What is it that he wants, Zach? Us to believe in him. He wants us to believe in him. Yes, he does. He wants us to believe in his Savior. You know, there's a lot of gifts that we could bring to the King of kings and the Lord of lords. But the truth is, the gift that he wants is our heart. And you guys did such a great job tonight, again, just sharing that message with us. And we thank you for that and for all of your hard work. I'm going to ask Michelle Stein if she would come to the platform. Thank you. I have something for Mrs. Fry. Would you come up here, Mrs. Fry? Super job. Woohoo. And one of our school board members, Louie, where are you? Would you please come? As a grandparent um, and as a parent, I watched my kids go through Faith Christian School and Michelle Stein taught two of our daughters and Nate, our son, and Michelle or uh, Melissa came back and taught at Faith for a while. And it, as we were sitting here tonight, it, it dawned on me that six short months ago, we didn't know if we were going to have a school. We didn't know where we were going to go. And Pastor Chris and elders and deacons from this church, thank you for opening your doors. And thank you. But I have a great friend here that is always behind the scenes, and she loves our kids. And I know I've got four grandkids here, and she loves every one of them as she does yours. And I would like to give Michelle Stein a round of applause for hanging in there. Where are you, Michelle? Come up here. She's such a dear friend, and um, to be honest with you, without her saying and the teachers next to her uh, saying, we're going to do this, we're going to do this, we're going to do this, um, as a school board, they made this look pretty easy. Um, but did you notice the six new classrooms that are parked outside there getting ready to be opened? Yeah. We are excited. And I just wanted to say thank you publicly, Michelle, for all of your work and all of your prayers. Thank you. Well, this has been an exciting evening, and I've uh, been doing this and all the practices the last couple weeks, but I would like for us to close. I just want to pray a blessing over you and over your family and over all of our students and I just want to encourage you as we move into this Christmas season, just continue to consider during this season what is the appropriate gift to give to the Savior who has come to this world. Father, we thank you so much, Lord, again, for your love that has been expressed to us through the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ. And we're so thankful that we could gather here tonight and we could celebrate that. But, Lord, the reality is we're celebrating that every day, Lord, as we gather here for school. 
And Lord, I pray that as we are in this Christmas season, that Lord, your blessing would be upon every household, Lord, every family, every student, every parent, Lord. Uh, again, Lord Jesus, that is is connected with Faith Christian School, and Lord, that there would just be a a uh, overwhelmness, Lord Jesus, that would come forth in our hearts as we consider who you are and all that you have done. And that, Lord, there would be a praise and a worship that would come forth from our life. Again, that not only declares your greatness, but also, Lord, receives your love. So, Lord, we give you thanks for this evening. We give you thanks for all that's taken place. Just continue, Lord, to bless Faith Christian School. And may the school always be a light, Lord, in this community. And we give you thanks and praise for this. In Jesus' name, amen. If we could have the house lights up. Michelle, I believe you were going to give some instructions. <laughs> Thank you. All right. You're probably wondering where your children are. If you don't see them on the stage, these kids are going to stay here until you claim them. Um, we, ha we have some kindergartners here in front. The preschoolers are down in the preschool room. And first through...